Hello and welcome back to Tech in Space with me, James ES. Today might be a lot, a lot more coherent than the last one. Um, sorry about that. I did drink a lot in the end. All that rum went straight to my head. Um, didn't even introduce that episode or even talk what it was about. Yeah, basically I've been, I went out on an adventure which is kind of, I don't know why I said and why I didn't, to be honest, I haven't really looked back at it properly. Um, so basically the idea is I've set out to find a site, uh, well the original idea was to find like a desert biome, a nice desert biome where I could set up like um, automated sugar harvesting for the use of energy generation and also use the solar powers for the environmental boost to power it all up. Um, but then instead, I ended up looking for, I guess I was looking for both. I love the idea of building the launch center underwater, like in a large bay. Um, so I was looking for bays, so, like that's what I'm doing right now. Looking for my bay. Looking for my bay for the launch center. I thought it'd be cool to launch rockets from underwater. And as far as I know, solar panels work underwater as well. However, I'm probably going to use lava power. But I'll get more to that later. Oh, look! And there's a useful source of lava nearby. Oh, yeah, managed to set myself on fire. Such a genius. Lucky there's a big load of water right there, right? So, yeah. Yeah, Christmas was fun. Chest pains have got so much worse. I think I've cracked a rib. Oh, no, this road got tapped by a witch. Oh yeah, I went on such a rage after this. Um, I think I've actually already recorded a commentary for this bit of video, but I didn't save it. And so it just had like the last episode. Yeah, I decided to just incinerate all of this. I was like, stupid witch. But then I had the idea of using my, um, I've got a mapping software. Um, I used to use Dynamap, which is the best by far. Um, apart from the fact that it lags things out a little bit and um, it takes up a lot of space on the hard drive. I mean, I'd say it about doubles your world, like the data of the world. Um, so it's, it, I just decided it's not worth it to have it running at the moment. But I might put it in later on. If I get that computer or whatever, then I'll do it. I'll do it. I should start making a bit more money soon, so... I'll be able to do things like that, hopefully. Hopefully, that'd be good. Should be a good year. I'm looking forward to the new year. I can't believe it's only Boxing Day. It's crazy. Um, yeah, do you know what I was tempted? I've got, I've got a beer hat for Christmas, right? One of those ones where you want to do like an episode, maybe a bit of a longer episode, where I just use, just, I don't know, it just seemed like a fun concept. But then I thought, Jesus, um, maybe I should have a break, you know. I forgot how big that sort of, that void, that gap between Christmas and New Year is. So uh, I didn't really think that getting on the drink again today would be a good idea because, you know, it's a bit soon. God, need some time to recover, I think. I only had like a smaller bottle of rum, but still, you know, I've got proper bad heartburn. I don't get that very often. I, get, I think I get that more from spirits. I don't know, everyone's different each their own and everything. I resisted the temptation of going through any of those dimensional doors. Um, it's just because I know you can get trapped in there and then you're fucked. I'm collecting pumpkin heads right now so that I can build an army of iron golems to protect the bases. I've decided now as well, although I'm going to have different sites, they're going to be quite closely connected to the main base. I'll get more into that later on as I get closer, I'll explain it a bit better. Um, especially the next episode, which is a bit recording. But from now on, instead of um, having like, doing a big session, <laughs> like what I've been doing is I've been getting really drunk and recording like marathon sessions and then just commenting afterwards or getting drunk and doing both, you know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it one session one commentary episode so like I explain things as they're happening rather than me talking about what happens like hours down the line um, so yeah this is me marking out the bays all the good bays 
but I think the one I'm going to go for, like just because it's closer and it's, it'll be a lot less of a hassle. Um, oh, that one's actually quite. Yeah, I forgot how close that one was. And then there's also the one that's directly in front of the base. That's the one I'm thinking of using, at least for launching a rocket. But you see where I started building around the sugar thing? Um, I'm going to do the same with the cactus farm. And basically, this entire mountain is going to have this sort of modular structure that goes all the way underground, all the way through it. And I'm actually going to start using lava generation. All that lava that I've been gathering up, instead of taking it's just a space, the lava I've got so far, I'm going to use for building a mineral processing inside the base, which means I'm going to probably abandon the conventional storage methods and have, um, well, you know, an ME network instead running throughout the base, which can allocate all the items to different sites by relaying it. Because that's such a cool mechanic and I never really use it for some reason, I always have just isolated systems. It's like I have the option to have an internet connection between all my items, but I never go for it. But that's what I'm going to do this time. I mean, the issue has always been powering them, but in the same way that the power's relayed, um, there's going to be lava pipes running all, all the way through each base. So, all provided by that nether, all that build up that I've taken from the nether. So, as long as I keep ahead of the whole. Uh, power usage thing and a good thing about that compared to like say sugar um, and other kinds of like power um, basically it only uses up lava when it needs to so it won't burn like the dynamo won't run unless something needs to be powered which means yeah, as long as you keep the supply of lava coming in then you shouldn't that shouldn't shouldn't run out really should because it's really efficient as well you get a lot of lava power I mean you get a lot of energy from it a lot of energy especially with the amount that I've got stored up already I could probably run the base for like ever if I just reversed it and made some magmatic dynamos which I'm going to do obviously as part of the whole mineral processing thing so rather than Rather than transferring the power around through wires and electricity and energy cells, um, I'm literally going to use tanks and dynamos at the machines, at the sites. That way when I move around the base, the lava will sort of flow, um, so I won't need like chunk loaders and stuff. I, I mean, I know electricity works kind of in a similar way, especially if I use uh, energy cells as like relay points or repeaters as I guess there is the proper word um, oh god I just totally skipped over that I can't remember did I already do that ages ago I made that really dodgy uh, sort of attempt at a mineral processing thing I think I think I did that a few videos back actually I don't know what I'm talking about yeah yeah I definitely did actually see that's what I mean like this is why you shouldn't record when you're just like are hammered but hey it's Christmas what are you gonna do right it's been fun and my new year's resolution is just to stop drinking just completely stop although I am freaking tempted I can't. already I was tempted to get to, to get on the drink today I'm in my pajamas right now I've got these for Christmas like Superman pajamas awesome in a way, it's good I'm wearing these because I ain't going to go to the shop like this. I don't even think any shops open this time. I think they shut at half five and it's like 20 past. It's not going to happen. Yeah, especially as I've got like another 10 minutes of this video. No way, no how. We don't have a stock of booze in the house this year <laughs> because last year I drank it all. And we don't want that happening again. <laughs> Let's chill out. Anyway, yeah, I should be paying attention to doing commentary like a pro professional. I'm not really a professional. I take. Oh, I made a clip. See, that's how unprofessional I am. So yeah. So I, th I guess it's the last we'll see of the Christmas chest. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I've got one small video. Well, it will be small when it's like sped up like this. Um. But yeah, that's kind of what to expect 
over the coming episodes is just me building up this base and it's going to be this big tower, monstrous tower called the uh, the Segtech Tower. But I'm not just, I don't just want to build for the sake of building, you know, because like, I used to love building like towns and villages and shit, but I don't want to do that. Um, and I kind of went through a thing, I was hoping to find a village, because in my client, I've got a mod installed, uh, Minecraft Comes Alive is quite a popular mod. Um, but all the recipes and stuff come up on my um, not enough items, so in fact you can see them there where I was searching villager. Um, just be pointing there, I should probably be pointing all the way down there. Um, so um, I was curious to see if I could, whether it worked on the server with no installation. I was like, what, why are these things coming up? This shouldn't be, these shouldn't be here. Because basically I had a load of mods installed on my last series, and what happened in the end was I updated tech it so that, you know, I could make um, a fully accessible multiplayer server that didn't need Hamachi or anything, and just port forward and do, do it all that way, because I finally got a decent internet connection, like fibre. <clears throat> but, and yeah, yeah. When I updated TechIt, obviously um, I knew it would probably just wipe all the mods that I had on there and put it back to like the default version. But some mods are still installed. Um, obviously TechIt didn't overwrite them, so... Well, I say some mods, one mod. Uh, Minecraft comes alive. Uh, advanced time, I had to put back in again myself. And the modifications I've made to the sound files, because I'm a, I'm a music, music tech graduate, um, I'm well into my music and shit, um, which you'd never have guessed if you watched my last video. Um, oh dear, what was I doing? What the fuck was I doing? I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to keep it up there just because it's just so funny. I'll look back and laugh, or I'll look back and just shame. No, it was. You've got, you've got to laugh about things like that. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, I thought the racks were bad. They weren't that, they're not that bad actually. I think in a weird way they kind of make what would be just me prattling on about something that's actually kind of mundane but kind of needs to be done to progress and tech it. Um, that's partly why I'm doing my playthrough sped up by the way because it's a bit boring to watch people go through the motions of like setting up quarries and things like that it's not too bad once you've done it a couple of times and if you're trying to keep the series running like i used to struggle with this because i was like do i cut it but then people only see bits and pieces like if you edit edit everything out and only need to like the stuff that's like kind of interesting or something that they might learn from if you just do it that way then that's problematic because uh, like you don't want them to miss anything at the same time it can be quite tedious to watch even if the commentary is good which might, <laughs> I know I, I yeah that sums it up pretty much my commentary um, it was better when I was rapping yeah but in a way you know that kind of that's more interesting than me just prattling on, even if it is a bit rubbish. Hopefully uh, people see the funny side in that. And you know, that's, I think that's where I'm going to do this series. Um, the fact that it's sped up means that things that would be tedious um, actually look kind of cool almost, you know? Especially big builds, because big builds can take forever. That's why people like to watch speed builds. God, who would want to watch someone build a freaking skyscraper in real time? It doesn't matter what the commentary's like. So I'm combining like, both aspects. And I'm also making it a speed run, so it's like progressive. And um, it would be interesting to see how far it goes. All that stuff that I said when I first started the series. Um, so I'm just gonna probably just keep doing loads of silly stuff. Just whatever I feel like doing, even if it does make me look like a complete idiot. I'm just gonna go with it, you know? <clears throat> it's a day-to-day -day thing. It kind of, it's my little break from work. Because uh, at the moment I uh, sort of home work from home sort of thing. Hmm. Don't make a lot of money, but you know, click working's alright. If if you if you haven't got a job 
and you're gonna be sat around at home. I mean, I've got a job in the mornings, but for the I don't have enough hours. So like I spend as, at least, well, my target now is just to do eight hours a day of click working and um, build up money and investments and shit. But I mean, I'd love to do YouTube, but well, the idea with the investments is that then I have to spend less time doing click working and uh, looking for real work. And then hopefully I can just sit back and let the money come in monthly and uh, you know reinvest it and then my standard of living will go up but I don't intend on sort of moving out just yet um, I'm going to keep costs low um, I'd rather see that money go more into my pocket and more anyway what am I prattling about financial shit this is a tech it video <laughs> oh dear but yeah hope you guys had a great Christmas I've been enjoying it so far. I mean, it's Boxing Day. Does it still count as Christmas? What do you think? What do you think? Are you? Even, is there anyone even there? Probably not. Oh well. Every, I just, this is like I said. This is just my relief, so I can talk about whatever the hell I want. Um. Obviously, here I am setting up the second quarry. That's what I've been running around doing. Was trying. Yeah, I thought it glitched out, but um. I had faith that it had set up right because it said it loaded 25 chunks and I'm like, it wouldn't have loaded 25 chunks unless it was set up right. And this time I filtered flints because although it was handy to have one for burning that witch's house down. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. Um, but in my drunk, in my like alcohol fueled state, I was like... Right, I'm gonna launch a bombing campaign against all the witch huts because <laughs> I've got like um, so I was talking about mapping software. I've got a, I use Unmind at the moment, which is pretty good. I mean, it's a 2D map, but it still it does its job. One thing that you can do that what the Unmind does better, um, especially if you're using like TechIt, um, is that you can go to any level. You can just peel away. I mean, it's kind of cheating, but I've used it to find like the stronghold before. Um, oh yeah, this is pretty much where this episode ends. Anyway, the point is I would be able to locate and blow up loads of witches' houses and find villagers. And I want to install my crop comes alive onto the server. Oh, fuck it, I'm going to just keep talking even though it's finished. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it really. But what, I've, what I'm going to do with it later on when it comes to... I mean, this is like quite a while down the line yet. When it comes to getting to the moon and to getting fuel, I could just build an oil fabricator and do it that way, but it feels cheaty. I don't like the idea of fabricating things. Um, I feel like what this tech, this version of TechIt's done really well, unlike TechIt Classic with all the like equivalent exchange OB stuff, um, is they've really they've, they've really well balanced like energy and the fact that resources a lot of resources aren't renewable like the best sources of energy are limited i like that aspect of it even though you can keep re like rendering world and shit but i feel I, I like that balance that they've put in it's well it's a lot more balanced than it was before um but yeah anyway i'm gonna stop prattling on now the video is well and truly over um i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next part it's gonna be a bit shorter and then we'll be back on track for like daily videos. Um, obviously did a, a couple yesterday because of uh, it seemed like a fun idea. I was drunk and I gave myself the day off of click working. And also you can't really do that when you're drunk. It's just, it's not that you can't. It's that you just think, fuck this. I can't be honest with this. I want to do something more fun like play Minecraft. Ugh. But there are obviously a lot more fun things to do. But at the time, it just seemed like a fun idea. So that's what I did. Anyway, guys, take it easy. It's James ES, Tech It Speed Run. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.